probably what we spend, I would say 90% of our interview coaching on is how do you move the conversation away from you and your past and move it towards them and their problem and what they're trying to accomplish and the obstacles they're running into and really get into the meat of the matter of the stuff that's not on the job description or there is no job description of what they're really trying to make happen. When you successfully move the conversation there, and now you're talking to them almost like a consultant would who's going through discovery on, on I'm going to come help fix your problem, they are not no longer trying to picture themselves in your past, but rather they're picturing you in their future. And now they're less concerned with whether or not you've been in this role before or whether or not you've got the right background. It doesn't matter anymore because by nature of the questions that you're asking, they are already telling that you know what you're talking about because you cannot fake that. If you uncover like three or four landmines of something they have sitting in front of them right now, they're uh, they're good. their stakes are so high, they're going to start to feel they need you. That's one of the main reasons that executive level in, uh, job search is different, is that interview process. Also, remember, there's not one hiring manager. So most of the time, that person has to now go sell you to other people. So now, like they're saying, wow, Tony's the greatest thing since sliced bread. And they're all emotional because you've basically... Um, virtually saved the company's, you know, CYA. And they're like, wow, we really need this guy. Now they have to go sell it to other people. Right. So that has to be in story form when you tell that. And you want to make sure that you're not using your resume as a leave behind, that you use the executive interview leave behind, which really has a forward facing um, focus on, on retelling the story of what you said in the interview, as opposed to a past facing. And if you're wondering about that leave behind, again, that's something we can talk to you about if you follow the link. We don't really have the luxury of getting into it here.